Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to replace ink cartridges in an Epson Workforce WF2840. Now this is nice and simple and can be done from the printer itself without the use of an attached PC or laptop. So the first thing we need to do is from the home screen of the printer, I'm going to go to the right until we get to maintenance. Once we're on maintenance, we press OK. We go past nozzle check, head cleaning, print head alignment to ink cartridge replacement. Press OK again. Now your printer will get the ink cartridge cradle into the correct position. Now we just need to get to the cartridges. So we're going to press the start button on the printer. Which moves that cradle I mentioned over. Now we need to go below the scanner bed of the printer. And you'll find there's a couple of recesses on either side. Just get a finger in there, lift it up. And you hear the stand's taken the weight of the scanner bed. So you don't need to worry about that and the cradle has moved over to here so we can access all of the cartridges. There's nothing like this flap of plastic there blocking it. So to get the cartridge out, we just pull from the back of the cartridge, comes loose, take the cartridge out. Now I don't actually need to replace anything, so I'm gonna pop the same cartridge back in. But before you pop your cartridge in, make sure you remove any protective packaging. It'll quite often be like a pull tab here. You might have a clip over the front of the cartridge, something like that. You don't need to worry about piercing the film on the bottom of the cartridge, that is done automatically as it goes into the cradle. To get it back in, you just do the reverse we did to get it out, press it down. When it's sat flush with the rest of the cartridges, you know it's incorrectly. Now we just repeat that for any other cartridges we need to replace. Once you lift the scanner bed, you can lower it down gently till it's in position, and then head back to the screen. Now you might need to press start again, but your printer will be checking the ink cartridges. If you're using compatible cartridges like I am, you might get a little warning saying non-genuine inks, but we know that. So we just press okay to indicate to the printer that we're happy using it. And we're done. If this video has been useful for you, please do let me know with a like. If there's anything else we can help with, drop it down in a comment. Otherwise, thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.